Then in 2015, I was definitely the best I've ever been. I was in the best shape I've ever been. My mindset was stronger. I really, truly believed I was capable of winning the CrossFit Games. And that is the year that I tore my Achilles at regionals. So it was... Mm -hmm devastating in the moment because I knew it was going to be my last year competing going in. I knew that after this year, I was going to go on to my clinical rotations in medical school. I knew that it just wasn't going to jive waking up at 4 a.m. for surgery rotation I don't know, and it trying to get have. my training I mean, in. It, for me, possible. it wasn't going to work. <laughs> By that point, training was so all-consuming. I was training three to five hours a day most days. And you think about your sleep, you think about your nutrition, your recovery, all those things outside of training also. It was really almost a full-time job. And mm. so I knew that was going to be my last year of competing going in. And I felt better than I ever have but then having that injury was very devastating but it ended up actually being one of the most powerful moments of my life because it happened in front of the whole CrossFit community 